Hello, my name is Rich Howard, owner of Architectural Builder Supply, and this video is to bring you a closer look at the BEA number 10 RD433EH. This is a digital receiver. Uh, this is a typical 10 RD433, except that it has an EH, which means extended hold, and uh, this is what it looks like, obviously. You got your antenna, you have your power, your common, it's wired to normally open at this time. And we're going to go over this in a moment here. Okay, So this is what the receiver looks like. The 10R, R means receiver. If you had a 10TD, that would be a transmitter. 433 is the frequency, 433 megahertz. Now, in the package will be a couple of pieces of hook and loop tape that, that you're going to use to get it put down to where it has to go. Then, of course, there will be installation instructions. Those are linked to down below this video, along with other documents that pertain to the item. And here they are. Uh, being BEA, the installation instructions are always incredibly simple and straightforward. And in fact, much of the documentation, electrical characteristics, okay, probably don't care. An overview, well, you need that. This is just marketing information down here. You've got programming over here, but it only occupies a small amount of the page. And then, of course, finishing it off with additional options. So let's let's put that back and let's take a look at the PDF that is... Um, linked to down below. Before we get to that, let's take a look at the extended description. Operates with a unique rolling code each time the switch is activated. Multiple applications, uh, vestibule with delay or no delay programming, we'll discuss that. 100 transmitters can be programmed into a single receiver. I've never heard of such a deployment, um, but you could certainly uh, expect to have a receiver and you have uh, a single entrance door, and you can have a keychain transmitter. You can have a transmitter that's mounted to a bullard post or to the wall. However, you're going to activate that door, or obviously sensors uh, would certainly work as well. Um, allows for removal of a single transmitter code. The 433 megahertz extended hold version, the, the transmitter used in conjunction with an, an EH model of the receiver, once depressed and held, are designed to hold the door open until the transmitter button is released. Once released, the EH receiver will begin its no delay or predetermined delay time um, countdown sequence for the door to close, let's say. These Transmitters and receivers are indeed ideal for applications of wireless uh, or sequencing of automatic doors. And you'll find transmitters and receivers used to control doors, but they're really, um, they can be used and they are used in other instances as well. I've supplied this material to people who want to simply unlock a lock. It could certainly be easily used for that application. And when you get into wireless control over hardware, when you incorporate the ability to have normally open or normally closed, and then you have a receiver that will give you a delay and other functionality on these dip switches, which we're going to go over in a moment for your hold time. You can do lots of things. Um, the This device is hardwired. Okay. The transmitter, those are available in 433 megahertz with either a 9-volt battery or a 3-volt battery. Um, and you will usually see those behind a push plate. Uh, you'll, have a, um, you'll have a transmitter, it'll have its power supply, and you're activating it with a push plate. You can also take all of that functionality and put it into a keychain. Uh, one button, two button, and so on. Since receivers can be individually programmed, multiple receivers can be programmed differently, thus allowing for sequencing in multiple applications. Upon activation, push plate or transmitter, all receivers will acquire the signal at the same time. However, each receiver will respond according to their programming. 
Those receivers programmed with no delay will activate immediately upon receiving the transmitter signal. Those receivers programmed with a delay will activate at the end of their predetermined time delay set by the potentiometer, which is a fancy word for volume, knob. That's the potentiometer right there. The use of multiple receivers will allow for an uninterrupted pace or hands-free operation through a pair of doors upon initial activation. So what they're saying is if you're walking up to a door and there's two, there's two automatic doors and you hit your button, the outer doors will open immediately, but you don't want the inner doors to open immediately. You're going to time them for the reason of perhaps the distance between the two doors when you need to physically move from one place to the other, but by the time you get there, the outer set will begin to close, the inner, the inner set will begin to open, whatever the case might be, or you might want that outer set to fully close before the inner set opens at all. You might need to have one pair of doors closed at all times um, is certainly where you might see that as well. And then getting into, and I don't know that transmitters and receivers would ever apply to a man trap, but you, you know, are not permitted to open another set of doors until the first set is closed. So you could certainly operate that by having uh, contact switches in your doors so that you are able to um, control that second set. Now let's look at the instructions for the 433EH. Um, they are a little bit different than the ones that are in the box, uh, just in terms of the layout. The top of that document will show all of the other keychain styles, one button, two button, three, and four button. The other two units that are there are the same keychain type of concept, except that they have a power supply, the 3 volt or the 9 volt, and they have what are called flag connectors. And those flag connectors are what are going to connect to your push plate. Okay, And the push plate will have a cherry switch with a common, a normally open, or a normally closed. Your flag connector will go to common and normally open, or common and normally closed, is how that would certainly work. And we've gone over the description of the product, and you can review it there again. When we get to section two on the specifications, probably the only thing to point out is be mindful um, that this is 433 megahertz. I've had people call me and say, my receiver doesn't work with the transmitter that I bought from you. And then we discover that they bought a transmitter with a different frequency, uh, and it would, of course, not work. Input voltage, 12 to 24 VAC or DC. That's, this is going to be able to handle that um, depending on how it's connected. I should say it's going to handle it automatically. It will interpolate what you're giving it. Uh, precautions. This is not intended for use with mag locks and electric strikes. You would need a different piece of equipment to handle that. BEA manufacturers, and I don't recall the part number, they have a relay. And I did need a moment to look that up. You'd be able to purchase the 10BR3 from BEA. That's a programmable three relay logic module, and it's going to have the ability to have an amp run through it um, uh, to be able to power those sorts of items. This receiver is uh, not built to take that type of amperage that you can potentially pull through a magnetic lock. Um, electric strikes I think are pretty much on the lower end, certainly of even inrush, uh, but mag locks are going to be a little bit higher so that you, we're going to want to look at the 10BR3 programmable 3 relay uh, module from BEA and then at that point you can certainly you know, turn it into a uh, wireless control. Uh, precautions, obviously, disconnect the power before you are running it. So I quickly pointed out the wires. You've got your power. That's very simple and straightforward. You've got your common and then you're normally open. Okay. Now, um, your dip switches. Very simple and straightforward to understand. On and off, and I know the camera's a bit blurry when I get close. There we go. Pulse and toggle, on and off. We can review that in step four. When dip switch one is in the off position, you're going to get a pulse relay. 
Press the transmitter once and the relay will activate momentarily, just like you think it would. If it's an on position, press the transmitter once and the relay output is active indefinitely, and you press it again and it will then de-energize indefinitely. So you can use your imagination, I suppose, how you might employ that. Dip switch two is gonna give you a off position of a half of a second hold time. In the on position, it will give you a 10 second hold time upon loss of activation. So off is half of a second after loss of activation. On is gonna be 10 seconds after loss of activation. You throw the EH into all of this, and now you have, when they're giving you the potentiometer, the ability to grandstand, frankly, on top of that. Let's take a look. And that, of course, comes in as we get a little bit further down into the typical vestibule application. Before we get there, handheld operation, you're going to set your dip switches on the receiver to the desired activation cycle, as we just defined. Um, press either learn with delay or learn with no delay on the receiver, depending on the activation requirements. Okay. If learn is if delay learn is selected, adjust potentiometer to counterclockwise limit zero second delay. After learn cycle is completed, you can then adjust the potentiometer for your desi desired delay time, zero to 30 seconds, 30 seconds, and right there is your potentiometer. That will allow you to control the delay from basically zero or no delay, obviously. So delay, then potentiometer, no delay. Uh, push plate configuration before beginning, um, you are going to want to have your push plate installation ready to go. Connect the wires from the transmitter to the normally open and uh, uh, common contact. So normally open is when you push the push plate is when you're going to close the circuit and then the logic of the way that the receiver is programmed will take over. Um, you know, having a push plate normally closed wired where you have to push it to deactivate. Not, not how I would ever see that. Step four, typical vestibule application. This is where the timing of those doors will come into play. Press the learn no button, pardon me, press learn with no delay button on the outer receiver, then press transmitter one. Press delay with learn button on inner receiver and press transmitter one. Now you've got it. Set potentiometer to the delayed time that you want the inner set of doors to delay, and then you're set. Inside transmitter push plate, press learn with no delay button on inner. It's just the same thing in reverse. Vestibule transmitters, dual switch push plate, two separate push plates. You can have, as shown in the vestibule, you'll have outer push plate and inner push plate, and you'll simply hit them with no delay as you are programming those vestibule uh, push plates together. You would not need a delay on that. If you're in the vestibule, you want to hit it and have the door open. Removing codes by pressing both delay and no delay will simultaneously, uh, button simultaneously until the red LED flashes once. As far as I recall, that LED is buried in the box and you'll see that illuminate. I just don't recall from where it comes. <coughs> I believe it's on one of these sides. I just don't, <laughs> I don't recall. You'll see it. You'll see the red flash. Press the transmitter button once within 10 seconds, and the transmitter code will be deleted. If you want to get rid of all transmitter codes, press and hold both delay and no delay buttons simultaneously until blue LED illuminates, then release after about approximately 10 seconds. Wiring is determined there. Let's take a look. Common is indeed white. They've got that wired to white. You've got your power, which will be black and red. Then they've got green uh, as normally open, which is probably what you're always going to have. If you did, for some reason, need to go to normally closed, you're just going to move that green wire over to normally closed, and you'll have that there. Uh, battery replacement doesn't apply to our transmitter, but it would if you had 
um, any sort of wireless doesn't apply to our receiver, forgive me, would apply to any sort of transmitter that you had that was uh, wireless. You can certainly power your transmitters, you know, in a bullard post, uh, you'd hardwire them. And that's everything on this BEA unit. Now the name BEA is synonymous with hardware to allow control over especially automatic doors, whether they're high energy or low energy, uh, with or without sensors. But people use this material to great effect when they're trying to wirelessly control other things, like someone wants to push a button, push a transmitter, and have the lock unlock. Great. Someone wants to be able to push a button and have their door open. That can work. Uh, BEA manufactures a full complement of that material that you can review from the link below this video to the manufacturer's page. And what you'll notice is if you look in catalogs of other door closer manufacturers, high energy or low energy, you will see a striking resemblance between what is being shown in those catalogs and BEA. I don't know this is fact, but I believe that BEA will simply private label the material for these alternate manufacturers. So be mindful that the original source is very likely BEA. Not the only company in the business who makes uh, material like this, but they are certainly uh, the one I would think with the largest footprint and the very simple and straightforward installation instructions for a direct technical support. You call them, the answer, it's all good, not a problem. Below this video is a link to the manufacturer's page where you can pull up not only all of the BEA products that we sell, but also a link to the manufacturer's website as well as a link to the full product catalog. Any questions on the BEA, this is their part number 10, RD433EH receiver. It's a 430, it's a 10 RD433 with the potentiometer possibility. Uh, or any other BEA product, please feel free to reach out to us. And thank you.